Okay, um, I did a very small, this is a Dollar Tree haul, this part right here, and nothing exciting, but I want to start it off by Ashley. Thank you for telling me about that a mop head might would make some really good wicks. So for a dollar twenty-five, and this is claiming it's hundred percent cotton. Well, it doesn't say hundred percent; it just says cotton. So we shall see. But it certainly is worth it for a bunch of wicks, or might can be used for fire starters in some way. I hadn't noticed this in Dollar Tree before. Um, let's see, green tea. Green tea is good for different ailments and and things it can even well it just has some healing and immune properties a hundred of those for a dollar and a quarter i got me a, a four more of the emergency candles this time i did check to make sure there was none stolen out of them but i only got four packs of those because i wanted to leave some more and a lot of the candles that were there last time these emergency candles were already gone um, I only took, that's why I only took four, and there's probably a dozen or so left. And they had some mandarin oranges, Libby's. Let's see. Um, expire date, or best buy date, September, oh, December 9 of 2025. So, same thing with both of those. So, that's my Dollar Tree. And I couldn't help myself. Y'all... Hello, I'm not talking to you. You know about my little pups. She's making sure you know. Look at what I saw. This is a dog waste bag dispenser with flashlight. I mean, come on. How could I not buy this? And it's even got the little hangy tag thing. How could I not? What kind of pet owner would I be if I didn't get this? And it comes with its own batteries. Isn't that adorable? So I had to check it. That flashlight actually works. Now, I don't know how good it is, but it actually works. So I got me some pooper scooper picker uppers. And that could not even help myself. Um, there was a few other things I'd gotten at Dollar Tree. Some of which were personal, not really prepping, but... Couldn't help myself here either. Thanks to dog and cat and this, that, and the other, I like to have fresh scents smelling around. I know sometimes people say, oh, no, none of this is good for your dogs, but I got that from Dollar Tree to stick in my spare room that's spare room slash have some prep supplies in there. Look at this. I would be ashamed of myself, except I'm just not. This is a new product, or new to me. Stuff puffs, puffs, filled marshmallows, filled with chocolate. Are you kidding me? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I got one of these. It will be s'mores time quicker than you think. So this isn't a prepping, but for a dollar and a quarter, oh my goodness, all you need is graham cracker now, or even some of us even like it on just um, saltine crackers. Heat that sucker up and there you go. Alright, um, this is from Walmart and this is nothing special. I like to do some of these water flavored packets and they are really have gone up in price from what they used to be. Here's 20 sticks of them. This is the Fruit Juicy Red Hawaiian Punch. Let's see, I got that from Walmart, $2.98 for 20 of them. It's got an expiration date of October 2025. So, you get, you're going to, number one, you're going to be appreciating having water. But at a certain point, isn't it nice to flavor it up a little bit? And here again from Walmart is, I got some instant coffee. Um, this was $6.68, it's 7 ounce instant coffee. I also use this to make my own version of uh, like iced coffee. 
I get whatever my favorite creamer is and this and then milk, whatever milk I'm using. And that's my poor gal's cappuccino kind of thing. But you do you. And this is just a side note. Uh, I've shown this on some of my other videos. Down here in Florida, we have more worries sometimes with floods or high water and things like that than other areas do. So this is just what I do. You don't have to do it. I make the most out of all these plastic containers that I get from my brother and my mother of all the stuff they get from Sam's. This particular one is stuff packed full of different water flavorings. But you do you. This is the lighting. There's regular long matches. Here's the short matches. All kinds of lighters. And once I get this, I'm going to put a little bit more in there because I like to really use up every ounce of the space. And then after I've got all that in there, because we are in the south where it gets hot and humid, if something, if you need to, you just take some of these gel, um, silica gels, moisture absorbers, and you could put a few in there, plop them in there, then tighten that down and, well, I'll bring it out here. But what I do once I'm finished with that is I take duct tape, once I want it completely waterproof, I'll use duct tape and seal around. These are just ideas. It's, this is not about, oh, don't you think she's a genius? This is, um, I showed a while back, I bought a whole bunch of old-fashioned handkerchiefs that is, I think, 100% cotton. I've washed them, put them in here. They can be used for way more things than just snot rags. They can be used um, even in bandages. If it comes down to it, you can wipe with this and reuse it. One day, I'm telling you, you're not going to have toilet paper. Um, this is a whole container. I love that my family buys so many snacks from Sam's. And a while back, I showed that I bought a whole bunch of socks. So this whole container, these are washed and ready to go. Put them in this plastic container. What if I get a flood and I come back? Um, all this stuff is still going to be good. I'm going to seal this up. So just start thinking of different things that you can do. Um, even if this never ever, we never ever get high water and floods down here. I still don't regret doing this at all. This is free. Utilize your containers, your friends, even if you don't buy some of this stuff, your friends will have plastic containers that they are just throwing away. Use them. And as I'm talking about um, maybe flood waters coming and this, that, and the other, I'm just going to put this out there. I've lived in Florida off and on for many years. Me, nor anyone in my family that I know of, has ever evacuated. Can I say that there sometimes is a risk that I have found for myself? No, I can't say that. But I personally have known some people down here. And with what happened at Maui, for example, um, they weren't allowed to go back home and even check their homes. If you know what I mean, they, they probably hopefully have allowed them to now, but I personally have known people down here years ago that they left their home because of floodwaters and then the powers that be would not let them go back home because they deemed it unsafe. Whether they lost their property, I don't know. I just know I have known personally some people that left their property and due to, call it the government, call it the powers it be, they were not able to go back home. And before it was over with, I think they were eventually to go back home, but they were not even given the ability or choice to fix the problem. Their places were condemned. Um, 
all choices were taken from them, stating that even though it was grandfathered in, once they left the property, it had to be re-inspected and approved and passed before they could come back home. So sometimes people don't leave for other reasons than the fact that they're dumber than Tom's dog. Although we have those amongst us too that they won't leave even if they see the freight train coming, they're not going to get out of the way. So I think it's very, very important that we're just mindful of things. Not fear, but be mindful. I don't trust things like I once did. Forgive me. I just don't. I'm not trusting all this that I'm seeing and hearing um, on the border. The same misgivings. On J6, back then, I followed several different channels and several different people that I really highly trusted, still do, and there was a lot of chatter back then that was talking about be wary that we are hearing chatter it was a setup. Well, we see how that all turned out. There's already starting to be some chatter about what's happening in Texas. Can I say that that's a setup? No, I can't. I'm saying it's a perfect opportunity to be a setup, seeing what I saw about J6, that still the truth has not come out completely. Um, just be careful. Uh, we all want to protect, or a lot of us want to protect the property or the area or the country, but I don't know that it's worth certain things. I don't know. Something is just off. That's all I can say. Am I just an old woman that's over blowing this? Very possibly. But something just is not sitting right. And it's I think it's very how opportunistic that it's on an election year. Why now? We've had all this time to do things. Why now? And there's certain laws and rules and special I don't even know what to call them, special things, special powers that can be granted during times of big demics or big chaos. So it just, I don't know, it's sitting wrong with me. It seems like a perfect opportunity to be able to use some of these powers that are sitting out there and say, hey, we can't have that in November because... The whole, there's a national emergency. So just be mindful. I'm not even sure if there's going to be that thing in November. And the other chatter, and I hope that that's wrong, is that number 45 won't even be around. So I don't know. I really don't know. You know who does know? My Lord and Savior. So here is scripture alert. Psalm 37. I'm just going to read a, a small portion of it. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the desires of thine heart. So it's not even just calling on the name of the Lord. It's trust Him and do good. So this business of acting like um, God is a fairy godfather and just ask and He's like a gumball machine. Ask for it and He's going to pop out a, um, a blessing. No, uh, you've, you've got Him all wrong. I'm going to trust him right up into the last, but you do you. From this point forward, all that glitters is not gold. Everyone, and I've said this before too, we're warned, be careful who you trust. By nature and by, by definition, a con artist is a liar. But they're a convincing liar. They, they can convince you, hey, we got to go and we have to do this. There's a time to fight. 
and there's a way to fight and posting everything that you're going to do online to where everybody can see what's happening and set up a trap is not exactly intelligent in my opinion. So get things ready, whatever it takes. Oh, and what I read a while ago that God will provide, he will. But what I think some don't realize, he may provide by having someone where you may have to leave your home. And even verses in the Bible will say this, at a certain point, leave your home, don't even look back and head towards the hills or head towards the mountains. Well, he's got someone on that end that he's already been talking to and saying, Joseph, for example, in Egypt, um, start building up your stores. Some of us are called to prepare to help others, and some of us are the ones that's going to need the help at the other end, and God is in control of all of it if we but just listen to the Lord and do what the Lord is telling us. If the Lord is telling you not to do anything, not to do any of this, then don't do it. Follow the Lord. You cannot go wrong. Learn to listen to the voice of the Lord. But for everyone that he's telling, don't do anything, act like the bird because I'm going to take care of you, that very possibly is true. But he's telling people at the other end, you can do this right now and we will be able to use it later. Stop poo-pooing everything that everybody is doing because the Lord's not telling you the exact same thing. How about you listen to the Lord and do what you feel like he's telling you to do and I will do the same. And if we all do it, the Lord is still 100% going to take care of all his people. His people that are fav um, following him and listening to him and doing his will. So there's my little spiel, but get ready. Oh, I can hardly wait to try this right here. I mean, come on. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Sorry for my silliness. Y'all take care. God bless. It will be okay. No matter what. Love you guys. Bye.